We're here at Blue Mound, which is one of my favorite golf courses in the country. It's a Seth Rayner design. I thought I was gonna play some golf today. That's not the case. I'm actually gonna trade in the spikes for rangefinder and yardage book. I'm gonna caddy. If you chip it to here, you're not gonna, you don't have to worry about the bunker. I don't think I've looped since 06, 07. All right, you got 196. You, you hit that four on how long? I like that again. I'm gonna be a bit rusty, so hopefully some guys can help me out. We like to eat snacks in this hole. This is the snack spot. And kind of teach me the ropes of what Blue Mound is all about. What's up, man? I'm Shane. Albert. Albert, good to meet, good you. To meet yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, how old are you, Albert? Uh, 18. 18. 18. How long have you been out here? Six years. This is my sixth year out here. 18, six. So you started caddying at 12? 12 years old, yeah, yeah. How do you get into caddying at 12 years old? I had just come over from the Dominican Republic. Um, that was a year after I learned English, so I was still kind of nervous talking to people. And uh, I spoke with my PE teacher. And once I turned 12, I started out here first summer. and stayed at it and uh, I'm glad I did. As a 39 year old, my ego is so small that I'm down to take advice from an 18 year old. No, 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 yeah. So at some point, if you could get me into the caddy bar and sure, get me yeah. a bib, of I want to get set up. I need to get my range finder, but I want to get dialed today. We got to do a good job. 100%, okay, let's, let's do, do it. Okay, let's do it. Oh, right how there. about that? Really official. Every member that walks by says hi to you. For you sure. know all their names. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've probably caddied for every single member yeah. here. The Blue Mound part of the front. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's like that. Are there members that request you and you caddy for them every time, or are you a guy that shows up in the morning and you're not quite sure who you're going to go out and loop for? Uh, obviously, there's members special, specifically for matches and other things that uh, would like somebody that knows their game and can help them out. We got you some tees, ball markers. Nice. But I'm here to caddy for anybody and everybody, guests, members, all sorts of people. What do you put in the bib every time? I prepare for four people. Okay. Um, sometimes I do car caddying, so four tees, divot repair marker, four ball markers, and uh, T-sheets. Um, and you know what? Yeah. Man was studying the T-sheet earlier today. Yeah, yeah, of course. You are an experienced caddy. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like marking it up. This is kind of where we hang out, sometimes when it's a little chilly. Usually newer caddies um, start off with these uh, caddy service do cards. I, do I need one of these? Sure, sure, yeah. Gotta get my service card. Oh, general rating, excellent average or below average? Yeah, yeah. And We're just shooting for not below average. This is where we play our basketball games. Is this um, regulation three point? I think it's just off. We get members out here every now and then, sometimes after big events. Uh, we'll play a little $20 match. Would you would you say the caddies win that most of the time? or? I'd say so, okay. yeah. All right, this is the bag I'm here. We got a popcorn machine here. We, popcorn uh, machine. Get a little snack before a round. This is our caddy master here, Bill Verdan. What's up, Bill? Shane. Hey, how are you? The process of someone that, that wanted to come to Blue Mountain and, and caddy. Um, we never have to advertise anything. Okay. It's like word of mouth. Every year we get 30 or 40 kids that show up and want to sign up. What about a 39-year-old um, journalist that uh, now has a bib on? Are you um, expecting greatness, or are you kind of thinking like it, it may be well, a good five out of ten? You know the game a little bit, so we're expecting. Yeah. So I'm going to get the report from the members. I, no, I got my card. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got good. my card. I'm, I'm getting I might ask you to read some putts. These are tough greens. What's up? I'm Shane. Hey, Corbin. Corbin, I got your bag today. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a great thing. Okay. It was. It was a lifelong goal of mine to ultimately come back and be a member here, and it just happened a lot faster than I could have ever imagined. Um, but yeah, every, I'm always thinking about the prior rounds I used to caddy, or we're not to go, or some of the most memorable shots, and most the worst shots I've seen, and everything like that. We're not to go, we're to go. Do you typically come out on the range as they're warming up? It kind of gives you a feel, too, for um, the distances of what they hit. So you're paying attention to that? Like yeah, yeah. You're shooting the flag knowing what they're... Exactly. Uh, I've heard you've had some success at the course over the years. I have. Yeah, like just yes. like a couple time club champion, maybe more? Yeah, I think it's seven or eight. Seven or, or eight. Well, I haven't messed anything up yet. I'm just following order, you know, bag down. I got the driver out, clean the clubs. I got my range finder. I feel like I'm like pretty dialed. Pretty impressive young man. I mean, talking about coming out here when he's 12 years old, how's it been watching him grow up? Uh, it's, it's been great. Uh, that's what the, the membership love here about having a junior program is you get guys and girls that are 12 years old and no bigger than the golf bag, and now they're turning into an Evan Scholar. 
Oh, nice. Oh, great out. I'll do oh. it. This is not just a, a part of your, you know, teenage years, but this is now led into what's going to be your college years. I mean, sure. you're an Evan Scholar, so yeah, yeah. you go from kind of learning the game to coming here and caddying as a 12-year-old to now, I mean, getting to go to college off of this skill set that you've learned here at Blue Mound. It's played a big role. Right after my first year, people out here were introducing us to it. You need good grades, and uh, I had to write a, an essay similar to applying for college. What'd you write about? I wrote about my journey coming here okay. um, from the Dominican Republic. Uh, I grew up on a farm there. Uh, and then being able to caddy out here and all the experiences I've had out here. How's the flop shot skills? Pretty good? They can be. OK, good. There's a rumor that uh, of all the Evan Scholars, you have something like 200 more loops than the next best. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're an animal. They were kind of shocked. <laughs> I mean, some of the, the other applicants were at like 51 rounds for four years. And what I was, was your number? 890. Let's say you got 142. We probably got, what, 15, 20 over that hump? Nice shot there. Where are you going to college? Madison. Madison, Wisconsin. You fired up? I'm fired, yeah. Good roll there. there you go. What do you say to a player with the second shot, considering where the whole location is here? Even in the mid, I saw people get some eights here, and it was it was a big it was a struggle hole, I guess, for them. But uh, for their second shot, I usually say uh, keep it a little left. Definitely want to be short of the pin. Try and let the ball run up. But if anything, if you're in between clubs, always go shorter. Yeah. Oh, this looks good. Uh, oh man, he picked the tee up so quick. Money. The best is when caddies signal and you don't know what any of it means. Exactly, like, yeah. I think I, it's good, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of stopped doing it after a while. Ooh, that is right. Be sick if we lost it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like starting off just walking in with it. Okay. And then I do long strokes, get low, and throw the sand. Okay. When did you start to kind of feel comfortable about caddy and knowing the golf course and even talking to an adult and maybe right, even right. telling an adult, no, it's not a six iron, it's it's a seven iron or, or maybe yeah, hit a bump yeah. and run here and not a flop shot. I would say definitely after my first year. This person here to the side of me uh, left a lot of marks. Yeah, yeah. Once I finished the first year and learned all the basics, I was able to start reading greens and all that. And uh, once, once I got comfortable with the course, it was just a matter of, you know, getting the courage to talk to all the people. And throw it away, yeah. It even helps with uh, pace of play because you won't need as many strokes. You just need one, two, three, and then... And then it's even out. Yeah, Look at this. All done, yeah. Sweet. Good ball. What advice you tell young caddies? The three most important things are keep up. Yep. That's number one. Two, know where you're standing on the green. Okay. Uh, like you're not in somebody's through line and exactly. stuff like that. Yep. Yeah, know where you're walking. Good putt. Really good putt. Three, I would say, be alert. If your member's on a green, you already have their putters ready. Little things like that, uh, it goes a long way. You know what's a really key uh, job of a caddy? You beg for your player. So, I mean, that's gotta be good. See, there you go, I begged properly. Oh, go. I've been watching you hit tee shots. Perfect hole for you. Perfect hole for you. Just hit it on the left side and mash that cut, right? Now you gotta hit the fairway. I tell people in the caddy training, they think I'm joking at the time, but I tell them caddying is the best job you're going to ever have, and after caddying, it's all downhill. That is toasted. I agree with you. I think the importance of what caddying does for a person that's 13, 14, 15, 16 years old, I mean, you interact with adults, and these are successful, you know, 40, 50 year olds. How do you explain to them? the importance of what this is going to do, not just for your now, but for your future. Well, we go through the training, we tell them, but I, I like to kind of pull them aside from time to time. And I point out, hey, you know, you're caddying with Elbert. He's an Evan Scholar. Hey, the guy you're caddying for actually used to caddy here. Now he works for a member, or now he joined the club. How much do you want to tell the caddies of, oh, in my day, we did it this way? Yeah, well, it's the same thing I heard when I, you know, when I was caddying here and some of the members used to be caddies back in you know, the 50s or 60s, and I, I heard the back in my day, so I make sure I try not to do it you too much. you got to leave here. that in. I don't need to hear that. 
I think more people have walked on the moon than been a head pro here. Is that, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of a cool thing about yeah, Blue Mountain. a cool little uh, fun fact. So uh, Barry Linhart is our third pro. And, and when you think about that from a math standpoint, we were, you know, we were founded in uh, 1903, uh, came to this site, like I think it's 1922, and Barry's our third pro. And just kind of, I think, speaks to what a great place this is, that people come here and they stay here and it becomes a part of them. What I feel being here is a community. I mean, it's been a part of your life um, for a long, long time. So my family's been members for about 20 years. And then I was able and fortunate enough to become my own member. And it's just been a great experience. Um, I mean, I, there's people that are like three generations here. And um, it's just, it's like kind of my home away from home. Being able to come out here and caddy on a daily basis. That a boy. I know I'm gonna build long lifetime relationships with all these members out here, and it almost feels like family in some, some ways. Great meeting you there, for sure, yeah. I don't think I would have been able to go through that uh, whole application process and the speech process if I wasn't able to be out here and practicing those daily skills um, that I'm sure I'm gonna carry for the rest of my life. Honestly, I think I did okay. My guy was kind of dialed, he made a lot of pars, had some birdie looks, uh, but the respect level for caddies goes up every time I do it because not an easy job, no matter if you're at Whistling or Aaron or, or here. It's, uh, I mean, you gotta be, you gotta pay a lot of attention. You gotta be really, uh, you gotta be invested in what you're doing and these guys do a great job of that.